Hello everyone, this is a guy man. Welcome back to some more Sword of the Stars 2, the enhanced edition in the flesh. And in the last episode, uh, we actually faced off against Aloha the first time, and that was kind of a rumble stomp. It really, really was. There was nothing they really could have done against me, but it was really cool to actually see the Loa. Though they were using cruisers, and I'm kind of curious whether or not they have dreadnoughts yet. Uh, we also finished research, which expanded our ability to have more ships in our fleet. I think it was here. No, it was. Where was it? Was it here? I think it was holographic ta tactics. Uh, this allowed us uh, more uh, ships within our fleet. Thought about getting this. Hmm. Let's, 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 let's see. Uh, after that, we'll switch over to political science and we'll start studying this. What is this, actually? Incorporate with deeper study members of the particular species living in enclaves on your world can be full, fully incorporated into society. This allows them to be a fully function, functional portion of your civilian society on any given world. I don't think we have any enclaves, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. There's also Xeno analysis. This creates a trained signals, trained signals intelligence core to man your diplomatic stations, allowing you to deploy sensors and giving a special bonus to reactions. Ooh, let's actually cancel that. Yes, yes, yes. You. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm looking at other research modular sensors. Uh, I think virtual engineering, uh, let's see, allows a determination of a design's positive or negative attribute after the construction of the prototype instead of after design's first combat. Hmm. That also would be uh, nice to get. But I think I'll get researching xenoanalysis first, even though I don't think we have a lot in the way of diplomatic stations. Uh... Yeah, I, I definitely don't have a lot in the way of that. Let's see. Survey fleet ride back. Do I have any? I don't have anyone to colonize uh, here. That is unfortunate. And I don't think... Yeah, they're not impressive worlds by any standards. Uh, let's see. What else? First assault fleet are ride back. Let's make sure everyone's repaired. Even though I don't think they really did anything. Hmm. Oh, we have a Loa incoming. Um, let's go ahead and send someone down to patrol. Sure. Might as well. I I I, I would love to actually see uh combat with more of the Loa. And I mean, we will be doing that because our main focus is obviously taking out the Loa. Let's see. You have a gate ship. And you have a gate ship. Okay, let's actually send these guys out. Jesus, there are actually quite a few planets we have yet to actually manage to get to. Uh, let's go ahead and send a gate here. Might as well. And then let's send a gate fleet here. I, I, I probably should just focus on taking out the Loa. But at the exact same time, I really would like to actually experience them more in combat. All right, Pi-3, you have finished production on the last gate ship. You can actually go ahead and switch back to trade. And we'll go ahead and relocate that gate ship let's see reserve transfer and fortunately you don't actually see that I don't think uh, my my uh, mouse pad is annoying me like it it kind of hinders my ability to move my mouse and it's really aggravating at times um, because I can't you know, precisely and smoothly uh, put my mouse where I want it to be. 
and it's it's extremely aggravating. Okay, let's see, that's done. Do I have any civilian stations I can upgrade? Let's actually check it out. Maybe I should just go down the list. Like just, just go down the list and just upgrade what I can. Maybe I should just do that. Cause we're making a lot of money. Yeah, see we have two additional construction fleets available. And I'm just I'm just gonna go through the list and we're just gonna upgrade all the civilian stations that we can. Cause I think that's gonna be very beneficial just to increase our trade even more so. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly do that. I think are all these guys all pretty much looks like all that's being upgraded. Pollux needs upgraded. So let's go ahead and get that one going. As soon as the game loads, there we go. Nice, nice, very, very nice. Gonna cost me two million crits, but I'm actually kind of swimming in money at the moment. Um, I'm not really that concerned anymore. I have 28, almost 29 million credits, which is fantastic. Considering we've always had issues uh, in the game, not having enough money to actually do anything. So I'm just going to get my construction fleets out and upgrading all these civilian sta stations to level 5. All right, boom, bam, and now we are going to go ahead and turn. And we will see what the next turn presents us. So here we go. All right, looks like we actually have a few battles. Uh, this one we're just essentially going to be staying away from any major threat and of course we have some pirate raiders because why of course not. Uh, and actually there was two. Huh, there's actually two worlds we were going towards. Wasn't really meaning to but whatever, that's fine. And now as per usual, let's go ahead make sure we stay away. See, where's their planet? It's way over there. Okay. Let's see. I need to go ahead and speed up some time. Okay. Uh, they're actually right there. Oh, good up. Missiles away. Uh, let's go back to the holographic mode. Wait, did we actually manage to destroy? Oh, we actually managed to destroy that, which is absurd. But there is something behind us. Yes, there's something right behind us. Keep moving, keep moving, because your guys' lives depend on it. But we managed to take it out, which is always good. Well, all right. So that's done. Uh, let's see, what's the next one? Is it going to be the pirates? Yes, it's the bloody pirates. Uh, well, our freighter's screwed. There's nothing I can do. Just go ahead and speed up time. And I'm going to have to go and spend money on building another freighter. And maybe some police cutters. Oh, I hate pirates. Like, th that's the thing is these pirates don't have a base per se, so there's nothing I can do to reduce them attacking me. The only way you can reduce it is if you uh, have, like, police cutters and naval stations that reduce the chance of the police uh, or the pirates showing up. Oh, bugger. Is that another one? What is that? Is that a... Let's see, missiles. Uh, 
Why don't you get closer? It is. Oh, it's one of the rings. It's their uh, warp rings. So this is what they use to uh, traverse the expanse of space. And oh crap. Oh god. <laughs> Whoops. I, I kind of lost contact there for a second. But we should be fine. Should not have any issues at all. That's at least what I'm hoping. Alright, so we have two worlds that we will be attacking. Which is good. Which is interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now, I know for the Loa civilization, when they go to a planet, they can, they can actually technically colonize any type of planet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um... But what they do is they destroy the biosphere. Because they don't care. Like it's irrelevant to them. I might be wrong. Now the Loa actually reminds me. And this is way back. This is many years ago. Um, I remember reading this fan fiction. Of a silicone based uh, life forms. Um... Which was really cool, which reminds me a lot of, obviously, the Loa. Uh, but they were essentially rocks, giant rock creatures. And it was really cool. Yay. Yay. Finishing a lot of research. Finishing a lot of colonies. Or, yeah, finishing a lot of colonies. Uh, so, yeah, things are definitely looking up. Let's see. Do I want this? That doesn't matter to me. And I think I was done with uh, this technology because I don't think there's really anything. I mean, there's that. Which is, I mean, interesting, but kind of curious what this stuff is. Uh, corporate analysis using advancements in FTL communication. Correlation of da data allows for real-time updating of the central database of enemy ships performance in combat. This creates a report for each opposing empire list, listing current ships, known destinations, and observed weapon uh, loads out, uh, load out. Uh, security syndication. This will establish an imperial security agency designed to thwart enemy intelligent agents operating within your territory. Should reduce the efficiency of enemy operatives by ten percent. So this is actually really beneficial, especially if you are playing against other players um, and you can counter uh, what they're using. So if they're using a lot of, I don't know, say a ballistic weaponry, you would increase the armor. Or if you see that they're using a lot of energy weapons, you would use shield technology. So kind of cool. I'm more of a brute. I just kind of go for it. Um, and Hivers, I mean, we do have the possibility of getting shield technology. I just, I, I've never really used it, even in my past LPs, because we're Hivers and we're just tanky. So I've just personally never have done it. I mean, that's just me. All right, so let's go ahead and not, it's not strike, not strike. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to invade. We're going to invade. Uh, beta Hydri. We're going to invade uh, with, let's see, the Iron Wing Fleet. We're going to send in a repair fleet. Should I send, uh, let's see, what's actually in this fleet? Mm, not, not a whole lot. Yeah, let's let's just do it. I'm just gonna send in that fleet. I don't really care if they die. I mean, if they die, it's just less money I'm spending on uh, upkeep. Uh, over here, though, yeah, I, I apparently don't have any uh, police cutters, which is aggravating. Uh, let's go ahead and get a heavy freighter built, and then we will produce some police cutters because apparently I did not ever produce those. 
So let's go ahead and get those built. I didn't even count. I don't really care. We'll get those produced so they'll at least help defend. Because I don't think I... Yeah, I don't have any police cutters. Uh, but unfortunately... Since I have to switch them up to construction. But that's alright. Because it's not the end of the world. Alright. Uh, last one is at Delta. Let's go ahead and send in ships to invade here. Because we uh, kind of need to. Let's go ahead and send in the uh, Red Stinger fleet. And we'll send in the 4th Repair fleet. And I guess we'll send in our salt fleet uh, just to try to take out the enemy planet, which is fine. All right, so that's done. Um, let's see. I've never actually gone down that way. Oh yeah, our command fleet. <laughs> I completely forgot. Our command fleet is cur currently surveying uh, that system. I completely forgot about it. Have I, I've never surveyed this system. Really? I've never surveyed that. Huh. And I apparently never surveyed here either. Okay. I don't remember these, but apparently I didn't even do that. So we'll go ahead and get some surveying teams out there uh, to go survey. And let's see, Omicron. Looks like the Tarkins are on their way over there. Uh, I might go ahead and send in a colonizer to go colonize this. Granted, it's not a particularly amazing world, but I don't really want the Tarkins to have it. Granted, I could also produce a station, but I'm not going to. Also, I haven't surveyed this. Are you kidding me? Really? Really? I have not surveyed that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go ahead and just send in the third... Defense fleet, because I really don't care. Uh, first gate fleet has completed surveying of the system, and I don't have a colonizer, but I should have a colonizer in the next turn, uh, which is beneficial. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, researching that. Seventh colonization fleet right back. We should have additional colonization fleet coming back as well. Uh, we're good there. But we have a combat fleet incoming. Ooh, goody. Uh, I got five turns. Yeah, see, see, I'm not, I'm not afraid because they're kind of slow. They do have, uh, accelerator gates. Not on this trajectory, though. No, they don't. They have no accelerator gates on this trajectory. Huh. So that's probably why it's taking them a lot longer to actually reach uh, the system. And I really wish there was a way I could, you know, in-system colonize instead of having to send the colonizer. But there's not much I can do there. Alright. Um, I got a couple turns before that. I'm not going to worry about sending in a fleet to defend because I have about five turns. So we're just going to go ahead and end turn, and we will see what the next turn presents us, and we'll go from there. So, see you in a moment. Alright, reaction movement pending, and let's go ahead and confirm. And... As soon as my game actually loads, we should have a couple battles. Like, I, 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 I feel bad, like, Hyver's, Hyver's... I think is one of the probably one of the strongest races. Um, what really is extremely beneficial, especially Hivers in late game, is really strong. There we go. Oh crap! Are you serious? Well, it's all up to you guys. Best of luck.
just keep your distance. Well, this sucks. So my game took a while to load and I just clicked through it. And so now I think the entirety of the battles are going to be with my repair fleets, which were never designed to actually be within, you know, the game <laughs> within battle. But I mean, their missiles are at least dealing damage. So, I mean, props to them for actually, you know, being able to resist this. Uh, just, just keep your distance. I mean, we're dealing damage, but uh, I, I didn't really put armor on them. So yeah, I don't know how this is gonna fare, but this is really cool. I mean, low lowest ships are really cool. Focusing down my command ship at the moment, which is interesting to say the very least. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I made this mistake. <laughs> oh my god, my computer decided to take too long and I got impatient and I clicked and now I have to witness this. I mean, props to my repair fleet. I mean, they're actually dealing damage. They're actually taking out this fleet. But I'm not going to be doing anything like all this. I'm not going to be able to push their planet like I was planning on it. I thought this... It's actually kind of more roundish. It's not as thin as the uh, combats were. Wow. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up because I'm not actually going to push their planet. And I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to, you know, go back and reload because it auto saves every time. But you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. My repair fleets are just going to have to unfortunately suffer through this. Oh crap, I'm actually behind it. I'm just I'm just gonna I ah such a waste of a turn. It is such a waste of a turn. But I'm just gonna have to go through it. Cause this is three phases, which is just what sucks. But obviously, the most major thing is going to be uh, protecting our gate ship. That's the most, most uh, necessary thing we need to do. Because I cannot lose this gate ship. But they survived. And I actually, I, I think they very, took very minimal amount of damage. I think the ones that took the most amount of damage was, in fact, our uh, command ship. Oh, Boy, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, sure. I don't think the, I, I'm not even scared, like, even the, granted that these are essentially just designed to wreck planets, they still have good armor and good weapons on them that they should be able to focus down, uh, these two cruisers like it really like i said i really do like the uh loa i like their ship design i think they're such a really cool race and apparently they don't have um point defense systems also where is this planet that i'm going to go try kill way over there Uh, 
All right, let's just go ahead and finish this off. All right, now it's off. I almost said, I almost said now it's off to the races, but technically it's off to the races. Because all we're doing is pushing directly towards our planet to completely wipe them out. Oh, God. Okay. Let's get in range and begin bombardment. Do I really have to do this? Oh wow, they actually have a station. Oh, look at that. Whoa, look at that. That is so cool. And why are you disabling? That is aggravating. They have multiple stations too. Kind of wish I had, you know, my uh, fleet, which is actually designed to focus down stations. That would have been helpful. Are they even reaching? Oh, looks like they have a little uh, Lear section, which is interesting. This must be uh, their trade, which is, oh my god, so cool. Look at that. And that's actually end of combat. Uh, but I think we have at least three phases of this, which is, once again, unfortunate. Wasn't really expecting my assault. Dreadnoughts, my siege drivers to actually do this. Sure, why not? Let's use your siege cannons against the uh, the station. <laughs> All right. Yeah, once again, not particularly the best as far as are we are we even landing shots? You know what I need to do? Bring these guys over. Probably should have brought them over earlier. Uh, and we'll also get them on one and a half speed. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, just ignore it. There we go. Managed to destroy the station. Why are you shoot? What? What? Why are you shooting the <laughs> asteroids towards the? Oh my God! Really? Wow. Just, just wow. Um, yeah, oh, I'm kind of kicking myself right now, um, let's see, let's obviously try to get these guys over here, wow, that station seemed to have moved right in front of my, uh, seize drivers. We are taking a lot of damage, which is kind of concerning. Also, it seems like we're missing. Uh, oh, no, nope, there it goes. Wow. That's really cool. Um, really bad on my part. Like, I, I definitely screwed that up quite a bit, but... At least they were able to take down both the stations, and we got to see some Loa station, which was really cool. We just did not manage to take out their planet, which was highly unfortunate, but it should be a lesson learned that I should not be 
um, should definitely <laughs> be a little bit more patient on the clicking, um, to say the very least. Let's see. Any moment now. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, that was my fault. But I didn't lose any ships, which is still funny. Oh, it was a starbase. The first one was a starbase. What was the... Oh, I didn't get to see what the other one was. That's unfortunate. Yay, we have a new colony. And... Is that... That's uninhabitable for us, which sucks. Uh, let's see. Size one. Ugh. Not a very big... Oh. Well, go ahead and research it. Awesome. Um, but this is going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully next time we'll get this right. Um, if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Chen.